Minnesota Fine Vikings have reportedly made a hire on their coaching staff as they're bringing in wide receiver coach and former Jaguars assistant pro bowler Keenan McCardell. And I'm pretty fired up about this one. It's going to be good. Uh, the hire further fuels speculation that uh, 2020 wide receiver coach Andrew Janako is going to be moved to quarterbacks coach, which is his natural position anyway, uh, as well as uh, 2020 uh, quarterback coach Clint Kubiak will be elevated uh, 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 up to offensive coordinator. It's going to happen. Like it, It's probably the most likely outcome at this point. Uh, Zimmer and McCardle uh, have never worked together before, uh, but Keenan was a player and then coach in Jacksonville under Tom Coughlin. Of course, Zimmer and Coughlin, uh, both branches off of the Parcells coaching tree. It always comes back to Bill Parcells. Every single time. Nah. Uh, and I, I was pumped when I heard about the hire because Keenan McCardle was a bad man back in the day. Like the late 90 Jaguars, Brunel and McCardell and Jimmy Smith and Fred uh, Fred Taylor. Woo! Tony Baselli when he was healthy. Ah, that was a good team, man. Uh, okay. So let's learn about uh, Keenan McCardle today. So background, uh, second round pick out of UNLV in 1991, uh, played 17 seasons in the NFL for Washington, Cleveland, uh, the Jaguars, that's where he made his hay, the Bucks won a Super Bowl, uh, Chargers and Texans, a two-time Pro Bowler, a two-time Super Bowl champion, uh, 1991 first season with Washington. That, that was in the Metrodome, by the way. Great. Uh, and then also uh, 2002 with the Bucks career, uh, 883 receptions, 11,373 yards receiving, 63 touchdowns. He's 35th on the all-time receiving yardage list, as well as had 5,000-yard seasons. And it really is rare where you have a high-level player like McCardle uh, translate into coaching because usually... I mean, if a player is extremely skilled and talented, has God-given ability, they're just like, okay, hey, just do really good. Right, so like Michael Jordan would have been a horrible, horrible coach, right? But uh, it, it makes uh, it even more impressive that McCardo is able to translate and have the second chapter uh, in his football career. Uh, got to start two years in Washington. Then had two years in Maryland uh, under Randy Etzel. Worked with Stephon Diggs in 2014. DJ Moore, Carolina wide receiver in 2015. Uh, spent the last four years uh, back in, at home in Jacksonville. Uh, washed out with Urban Meyer and Daryl Bevel coming in. Uh, but did mold a pretty nice Jaguars wide receiver core. DJ Chark coming in, Chris Conley, D.D. Westbrook, who, I mean, D.D. Westbrook, if you want to come up here, play wide receiver three and return some punts and kicks, whoo, as well as LaVisca Chenault. Now, McCardle is known around the league as a very knowledgeable uh, uh, as well as a very good communicator, relates well to players because, of course, he's lived that life. He's walked that path. Uh, I think that does resonate with guys uh, with, I mean, wide receivers, generally have a lot of talent and generally have, have a lot of ego. I mean, it just is what it is. But I think the impact on Thielen and Jefferson will be huge because Keenan McCardle, I mean, he wasn't a big wide receiver. He's like 6'1", like a buck 90, and he certainly was not a blazer either. Uh, but he was one of the cleanest route runners in the league, had surefire hands, and just had a knack for getting open. Uh, and McCardle can help raise Jefferson's game to an even higher level where you have one of the greatest uh, rookie wide receiver seasons in NFL history. It's either one or two with Randy Moss, 98 and Andrew Janako. I mean, he, he's a fine coach. I think he has a bright future, but he is a quarterback's coach. Like he was a, a college quarterback uh, who would coach offensive line the previous years. He had never coached wide receiver. He had never played wide receiver. And then Je Justin Jefferson just comes in, still has 1400 yards. That, that's how good Justin Jefferson is. But uh, frankly, I think the rest of the wide receiver core, not named Adam Thielen, did suffer because of it. But McCardle has lived that life, is going to be able to drop a ton of knowledge on these kids, plus could and should be uh, big for guys like B.C. Johnson year three. Uh, I think he may have been stunted a little bit uh, last year, uh, as well as if Chad Beebe is back on a restricted free agent deal. K.J. Osborne, eh, as well as rookies TBD, like Jamar Chase. Ah! Just adding refinement and discipline to route running and just small tweaks and getting open uh, and a lifetime of knowledge is going to be imparted on these guys. I think it's an absolute home run hire. I think it is a phenomenal get. Keenan McCardle, woo, welcome to the Minnesota Fighting Vikings. Let's do work. I like it, man. Let's be an offensive team. Let's just score 50 again. Why not? Uh, but your thoughts, Keenan McCardle, new Vikings wide receiver coach, let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Most support that work. Post on the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.